It's a big game for both teams tonight to try and stay on beat. Uh, absolutely. I mean, Florida State coming off of a huge win against Tennessee at home. They haven't played since then. I think they're going to be ready to play tonight. You see early Seminoles want to play with the fastest pace in the country. Score early in the shot clock. Latson already earns two shots. And you just see how quick she is. That first dribble to the basket, you have to be ready defensively to slide over and help, and then you've got to help the helper because she is so quick getting to the rim. She had seven 30-plus point games last year, averaging over 21 a game as a freshman. It's just the confidence that she brings. I was talking to their assistant before the game, Bill, and he was just saying, she comes in with just a different mentality as a freshman, and then she's taken that over to her sophomore season. But, I mean, watching her last year and then the growth that she's going to have this year, it's going to be pretty amazing. Coach Wyckoff said she's just a winner, has that edge, that elite mentality, still working a little bit on her defense, but she can fill it up. Starting five for the Gators, Layla Reynolds will see her third consecutive start. Alberti Rimdahl is healthy and expected to play today, but will get her off the bench tonight. So that is an elite shooter and an elite defender. The Gators will get back. High low entry, Rashea Kyle, nice start to her year. Here early in the game in, you're going to go high low because that's where Florida St. lacks a little bit is in the size down low. Where Florida, that's where they're excelling because they have those bigs. Latson active early, can't finish. Timson will go to the line. See the starting five for the Florida State Seminoles. Similar to what you saw against Tennessee in a 92-91 win. Brooke Wyckoff said it was that was fun. That was the best <laughs> win of her head coaching tenure for sure. When you score 91 points, you have an efficient offensive night, but both teams just exchanging right hooks in the second half. Uh, and those are the, the fun games to play, the fun games to watch. When you're kind of going back and forth, you have stars shining on both teams. It's just fun and exciting. Matharu attacks the cup, and that'll go out. Will be seminal ball. She's just an attack mentality, and I think it's the not only on the offensive end, but defensively, you see her want to pick it up. If she makes a mistake or misses a shot, she wants to get back there and get the steal and then push it back in transition. So she's not just an offensive-minded player. She also really likes defense. Bucket for Sarah Pugetti. Layla Reynolds coming off a 20-point performance. Number 13, White. The far side of your screen, the freshman. Decent range for Faye Duke. Rebound, Michaela Timpson. It's a good look for, for Florida. If she can knock those down in this game, it's going to pull the defense out to her and allow Shea Kyle to work more down low freely. Got to find her, Brittany. Tonight, yes. and lots of trick. Now with no stoppages. Layla Reynolds for two. And Layla Reynolds is a name you're going to hear often for this Florida team. In her career in the next four years, but also I think this year, she plays really, really well in this offensive set for Florida. A tray knocked down by Tucker. Now, Florida State doesn't have any, but good for Florida. Florida State hasn't scored off any of those turnovers. Touch for Kyle gets swarmed underneath, and that's going to be the biggest test. How does Florida State deal with the side? The Jenny. Yeah, the possessions are high right now for the Seminoles, but they're really struggling on offense. Yeah. I mean, 3 of 12, but they've had 12 possessions. 14 foul. Attacks the rim really well, so when she gets fouled, she goes to the line and she knocks down free throws. I mean, you don't see high volume scores to the extent that Latson is that aren't necessarily three point shooters. Yeah. A great mid range. Reynolds tees it up from the court. Donald's All American. Latson quickly to the rim. And Warren comes away with it. Alberta Rimdahl. Stop and start. Scoop for two. She decided, hey, I don't really have numbers, but I'm going to pretend I'm going to pull it back out. And saw a lane to the basket and took it. No field goals in the last three plus minutes for the Seminoles. Gators have hit four of their last five to cut this down to a single possession. Latson lost the dribble. Timpson does have some range. Cyclones into the paint and knocks it down. Jump in her production. 13 double doubles last year. The Gators go one and done. Average 13 a game to Timpson. Latson just lost it in traffic. Slow to get to her feet. Gators don't have numbers. Reynolds got fouled. Five-star McDonald's All-American. And how about the job Kelly Ray Finley has done in high school with that foundation? You see a lot of college teams. Man, the maturity that they have in yeah. their junior season, even sophomore season. Turnover from Turnage. Masaru double-triple. Yeah, 
chance to talk to her before the season opener. She was juiced to get a chance to get back on the court. Sat out last year with the transfer rules. Four-point game. Timpson. Court screws in the lane. Two hops and down. Your kind of one-on-one -on -one moves to the basket. That's what opened that up. They can get bigger looks. They're trying to pull Florida's bigs out. Timpson the closest to that conventional post that you'll see on offense for the Knowles. Very guard driven. Rindall long two is true. She's doing that. She's come in. Nice drive to the basket. And then that shot. Gordon laps in amongst others. Fifth that billing. Matharu, step back, triple try. What a step back shot, and if she can get going for Florida, she can fill it up quick. Gators a couple of trays and four attempts. Back to four. Turnage, Frisbee's one to Gordon. Can't save it. Second in the Big 12, part of an elite eight team with Vic Schaefer. Gators trying to get Correa going. She has the ball right now. Kyle away from the rim, still hits. Four points, two buckets inside, and then she pulls it out for the mid-range shot. It's a good day. Ever since Kelly Ray Finley called that timeout before the media, it's been a different Gator group as Gordon is Ooh. pure. Native of Bradenton, Florida. Back-to-back -back Florida Gatorade Player of the Year honoree. Final 30 seconds. Tharu calling for it. Correa goes to work. What a very good patient offensively the last couple times down and getting the best look that they can. Really making, you want to make Florida State work on defense. You really do because of the way they push the ball up the floor so quickly. You want to make them work defensively. I think we're heading for a game in the 80s, maybe the 90s tonight. Timpson, no, rebound with Tharu. And that will do it. Gators fighting back, hitting their last four in the cool point differential after one. Uh, a really smart timeout, and that's run from your team, is they responded out of the timeout. They stopped turning the ball over, and they only turned it over one more time after that. They got the ball inside, they got points. Gordon, contorts to the cup. Or as Florida State, they're going in. <laughs> they're going in every time. Reminds you a lot of Arkansas yes. in the SEC. The way Mike Neighbors likes to play. Mitharu will get a look. Great rebound by Dariah Warren. Flying in, literally in the air, catches it. Takes one dribble, finds it back out, gets it back to herself, and puts the floater up. Yeah, root Woo! scraper. She flew in, got the offensive rebound, gave it back out to Brody, then she kind of circled back around and hit the floater. Watson contorts in. My goodness. She's a special player. Tanaya Latson was announced earlier this week. Top 50 watch list for the Wooden Award. Preseason All-American. Rimmed all wide open. Boy, you'll take that every day. Rimmed all wide yes. open for three. Great ball movement by Florida. Florida State missing some defensive assignments. Oh, Woo! big block from Atharu. Who's just waiting for Pajetti to get to the rim. The patience that led her to that block. Latson long two is true. Gators got off to a slow start in the first. Slow start offensively here in the second. Couple of crossovers. Woo! Finds the open Roche and Kyle. One of the great transfers the Seminoles were able to bring in. Pujetti looks off for Timpson. Roche and Kyle's fired up. Kyle and Timpson. Intercepted by Bajetti. Two on one. Bajetti takes it to the rack. Eyes brought in long two. Barely Nick's rim. Game's in a bit of a lull. Timpson runs the floor, and it's up to eight. I believe Florida State might have been ranked at that time, too. Jariah Warren had a career-high nine on Monday night. Playing primarily that four spot. Different position for her this year. But in that four spot, it's allowing her to kind of play like a three guard and pull the other team's bigs out, drive to the basket, get open, better open looks for Florida. Bonner had the bucket. She had 11 in the fourth quarter in the win against Tennessee. Bichetti rips it away. White can't hold it. Seminoles almost had a leak out for an easy two. Bonner, a charge. Rimdahl surges down the lane. Latson. 
I mean, how quick Florida State, they are getting the ball up. They're trying to score. They can't get the rebound, and they're going back on defense. How quickly they get. Woo! The Tharus. You can see Florida's mindset. They're still looking to attack inside, and another block for Florida. Hands straight up. Dry Warren said, I'm not even necessarily trying to block it. I'm not even jumping. And he's trying it straight into her hands. Hey, even if the look isn't there, the Seminoles are still going to take it to the rim in transition. Wide open Correa. The late flyby. Great patience by Leilani. She knew the defense was coming, didn't go right up with it. That's that maturity and that experience on the floor saying, hey, I'm going to pump the you. You're going to fly by. I'll get an easy two points. And now a two-point ball game. Back to where we started after the end of the first quarter. It's a two-point game. Timpson, step back. Rolls out. Haters could go two for one if they go quick here, but it looks like they'll settle into their half-court set. About an eight-second, making a seven-second differential. Correa. Matharu. Latson got caught in the air. Matharu hits, and the Gators in the lead. What a big shot. Again, the patience, the pump fake, step back, knocks it down. Gordon, off the mark. The Gators' lone lead in this half comes in the final seconds of the second quarter. Both teams doing a good job of you know, playing defense without fouling, but also the quick shots for Florida State lend to, you know, it's kind of hard to foul that much because they shoot so quick. Matharu, that quick crossover, the teardrop. And she's a player that she can feel the momentum. She knows how to play with momentum. When they need those energy pushes, the crowd behind us is getting into it, and she feeds off that. Matharu now with 10. Gordon doesn't have the answer. Reynolds the rebound. Long baseball heave. Nice catch from Correa. Feeds it to Kyle for two. That is a fast break at its finest, Kyle. You hit your guard launching it up the floor, and then in transition, your big is running down the middle of the floor. Florida rewards them, and she puts it up strong. Pace picking up right out of the break. Bajetti curls inside. Great offensive push for Florida in that transition. Eyes up. Guards always want to have their eyes up and see people running in transition. Correa off the mark. Rebound for Latson. High volume attempts in the first half. Wild look. And one. And that's what she does. I mean, up the floor, doesn't allow the defense to get set, creates just enough contact that it doesn't alter her shot too much. She's just so good moving the ball around when contact happens and still finishing. Former Florida Miss Basketball. National Freshman of the Year, according to two publications. Rindall, the teardrop, Florida back in front. And Bertie Rimdahl has done it all. Pajetti swerves down the lane. We'll get two shots. See, he was a possible candidate for ACC. One season at Arizona State, early in her collegiate career. She does. <laughs> Top recruit in the state of Florida, Tania Latson. Warren. Another attack to the rack. And one. Drive to the basket. And that's what you're going to get with her at the four position for Florida. Is She's got a Picked up her dribble. Wasn't the greatest second chance look for Florida that they could have had. Viegas, a line drive. They've gotten stops. They've gotten some more blocks. But then again, continuing to look to attack. And that's a really great look. Whoever set that screen set a really good one because she was wide open. That's an elite draw yep. out of the timeout. Rimdahl's not going to miss many of those. It's a six-point game. Gators' largest lead. Latson the response. Yeah, times, that's going to be your response, is Latson. <laughs> 32 last year on 12 of 21 shooting against the Gators. What was her debut against Florida? Ernie Kindred is on for the first time. Correa can't connect. Kindred volleyballs the rebound. Can't save it. Which in waiting under Sue Semrau. Played at Florida State. Got to the NCAA tournament last year. Turnage wide open. Knocks it down. It's a missed defensive assignment for Florida. She was open on the three-point line. No one near her. 
Turnage, her first three made this year. It was all of two coming in. You might not guard it, but there was no one around her. Correa runs into the trees. So Correa heads to the line for two. You know who you don't want to be sending for Florida? You don't want to send Latin. Gators 4 of 18 from three. Loose ball for Rimdahl. Originally waiting for the offense to come down. Didn't have a good look. Going to run something to get a better look, and that's, you got to go meet the pass. Simpson with the interception. Methodical drive to the bucket. Great defense. No foul. Gators have numbers. Four on two. Correa, knife's inside. Timeout. She knocks it down. She's played about 23 minutes in this game. So coming off of that stretch of the ankle, and obviously looks fine. Shooting 50% from the field right now, 5 of 10. Doubled up her scoring production last year. And poised for a big campaign. Bonner left it short. They're rolling over in Big Blue Nation seeing that. Hey, hard paycheck. You're a Gator now, right? Yeah, I'm Gator now. <laughs> Mom was a Gator great too. That's right. Correa. Runs in the blood. Rebound, fake two. Bodies one up and in. And exactly what Florida needs. The bigs to perform down low, off of rebounds, gets it back, gets it strong up, and then finishes. Had and then to have it. She has 18. That leads all scores. Too, too tall for Correa. I don't admit it here in this third quarter. Pugetti. Good defense from Warren. Correa gets out and runs. The sidestep for two. And the Florida bench excited about that play. That was a nice drive to pass. It goes around the defense. Like you said, the sidestep in to avoid the contact. Doesn't get the charge call. Finishes. Gets the crowd involved. Florida needs to finish this quarter strong. Gators led by one at the break. Right now a game best seven point lead. Eight second differential between the two clocks. Bonner, shot clock waiting down. Latson, one of the top freshmen in the country. Rebound to eight seconds. Gators have time. Rimdahl surveys Warren. Broughton from the corner. That'll do it. Gators, a strong quarter. Put up 20 in the frame. Leilani Correa in double figures. The big bucket. Correa. Dashes down the lane on Latson. Look at a foul. Basketball. She says, I just I love nature walks. In Florida, you, there's a lot of trails, a lot of um, different environments. Gordon. Pick and roll. Timson got swatted away. Add another to the ledger. Oh. oh. The, the call comes from the sideline. Sakaya White. Juco transfer from Jones College. First team Juco All-American last year. One of three transfers added to this team. And it's down to seven. Matharu goes to work. Lost it. And can after that little bit of a break for to keep that momentum on their side. Extra feed, Latson. Attacks the rim, softly gets it off the glass. Seminoles making a push. Correa wide open. You bet. White loses her in transition. Doesn't even go out and guard her. I know she hasn't hit a three point shot yet in this game, but she got to at least show a little attempt. I think she just lost her completely on that defensive segment. And Leilani Correa made her pay. Woo! Oh, big contact. No foul. She drives to the basket, loses the ball, and... Yeah, the ball was loose. That's why yeah, that contact gets negated, essentially, because and she was not in possession. No, Jariah Warren was going for the block, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's going for the throwdown block, but it goes off of Jariah Warren to Florida State underneath out of bounds. That's why they get it there, and then... Oh, it's getting physical. Yeah. Watson and and one. And all freshmen in the country can score Got it. Now, I mean, she has pretty fresh legs here in the fourth quarter. 
Mathuru. Quick look. Simpson back on the floor. The pick and roll. Oh, that was a good offense. Nice pass inside. Timeout. Kelly Ray Finley in the Gators. One possession game with 7.22 to go. You expect anything different? Gators and the Knowles to kick off a double header. And they've got to have a response here to that 9-2 to run that Florida State went on. Crucial possession here. Rimdahl, Latson fell down. Tough oh, look. Yeah. Intercepted by Latson. To cut it to one. And so right when it left her hands, Latson saw it and I was like, that, that was going to be a steal. Seminoles have scored the last seven. So that was for to respond out of the timeout. They have a turnover. You've got to get it back. Now it's just a tight game, and Aliyah Matharu with the drive to the basket. That's who they want the ball in their hands of. She gets the potential and one play. Somehow Matharu able to keep, keep her, her balance. footing to the rim. Misses the free throw. Free throws, Kyle. Free throws down the stitch. That bucket snapping a 7-0 run. Turnover. They've been here. They've been cheering on women as well. Correa the rebound. You just did it the time before. You can't do it again. Brooke Wyckoff is beside herself right. saying that should be seminal ball. And she does not like the call. Let's take a look, Brittany. Does she have a case? Yeah, I think she does. The direction that it went. Matharu. A three. That's cash. Uh, and you can see it on her face. Hey. She wants to win this game bad. A star has stepped front and center here in the fourth. Tipson backs in. Uh, Whistle uh, on Warren. That time down, the arm came down just a little bit and gets called with the foul. That ovation here, Shea Kyle is back on the floor. There's a little bit of a gimp in her step running on the floor. But You've got to play. It's Florida, Florida State. You've got to play through it, push through. It's good to see her back out. That's the first miss for Florida State tonight at the line in their 13th attempt. And they're a really good free throw shooting team. Tips in a double-double. Mithoru, step back, triple try. You, you knew it was coming. Gordon, no look with Jetty. And how quick Florida State just gets the ball up the floor. What a game we have on our hands. And it's been a battle from both teams. Both teams have won it really bad. Shovel off inside, Warren. Oh, just in and out. Great touch, good find. Matharu active hands. A tie up, alternate arrow stays with the Seminoles. And all Gators in front from late in the second quarter. We'll get a foul here. And she has, and Latson has not missed a free throw in this game. Six of six, seven of seven. Latson closing in on another 30 point performance against the Gators. 26 tonight. One point game. That's as close as the Seminoles have been able to get it in the second half. Rimdahl. Whew. Just the confidence. She has a lot of confidence coming into this season offensively, knowing that she's got to be a th scoring threat for this Florida team as well. That's impatient offensively, keeping the ball in her hands, coming off a double high. Timpson. Just got it over the outstretched arms of Rashea Kyle. Oh, that's a good move. Turned around, lots of made unselfish. They one on one down low, said go to work. Simpson adding on to her double double tonight. Matharu, pick and roll. Gets it back. Snakes inside. Kyle, short corner. 
And that's Kyle's second short corner shot. Not just an inside threat, she stretches it out. What the, what good hustle by Aliyah Matharu to get that ball back after a bad pass inside. She stays with it, gets the tip back, and then finds it, gives it back to her big girl down low. And hey, I still have confidence in you, knock this shot down. Gators, another answer. Gordon. Gators now will slow it up. And possession by possession, you talked about it just a few minutes ago. Every one of them matters. And you've got to value each possession and treat it as such. Matharu accelerates inside the paint. Amount of drives to the rim. Only one free throw attempt tonight. That was the fifth seminal foul, team foul. So the Gators will shoot for the final 228. A 68% career foul shooter, Matharu misses the first. Gotta hit free throws down the stretch. Look at the free throw difference though. 15 of 16 and 6 of 9. Misses both. And a chance to tie with a three. Brooke Wyckoff calling for a timeout, I believe. And they'll take it. What a game. Oh, what a game. Nine of 18, five rebounds. Uh, she's going to inbound the ball and most likely get it right back. Uh, and probably come off of a few screens. You see the screens away. They're going to give it to her and then uh, not give it back to her. So I guess... It's Gordon. Up. Another great option. And we're all tied up. So it's all wrong. <laughs> Misdirection. But you have another option in Gordon. She can shoot the ball really well. Coming in this game, 44% from the three-point line. Shot swallowed up by Timpson. A chance to take the lead. Latson down the lane, all the way home. Seminoles once down nine and a half. Correa stayed on the pivot foot somehow. And the swat from Timpson. And Florida unable to get the foul call. They've got it now minute and a half. You're down now, so you've got to get a stop and not allow Florida State to score. That's a good timeout by Florida State. You know they practice that out-of-bounds play. Pajetti, a charge! Ooh. Huge call, huge step up for Florida. You can see on the drive to the basket, her back is turned, and she just turns around in the nick of time to get the charge call. That is a huge defensive stop for Florida in this game, down two. Seminoles in front. Kyle can't corral it. Loose ball for Gordon. A chance to go up a couple of possessions. And a foul. Junior from Bradenton, Florida. Two-time Florida Gatorade Player of the Year. Double figures tonight. Uh, I mean, Florida State's got four players in double figures. Florida has four players in double figures. Brooke Wyckoff said she runs the show for us on offense. Has dealt with nagging injuries in the past. She's 100% healthy now. Misses both free throws. They'll get a foul here. Wave off the oh, bucket. I was going to say, that's a huge offensive rebound. Couldn't hear because of the crowd behind us. Yeah, you can see she just snuck. Oh, yeah. Bend it off. Pushed away. Crossing post players is what Florida State did on the foul and possession. But then that sends you to the foul line. Yeah, remember, Brittany. Yeah. Gators are in the bonus. for Rashea Kyle, who's a 65% career foul shooter. A chance to tie it here. So that's why you're walking down to the other end. Big fouls calls down the stretch as both teams are in the bonus. First free throws for Kyle tonight. Short. Got it. And Florida needed the second one. Would have liked both of them, but couldn't get it. Lots in mid-range. Connects. 31. That's right, just on ball screen. Clear out. Keeping the ball in your playmaker's hands. Down three. Matharu, wild shot. That short got her own miss. Amidst the double, Kyle wide open. And it's back to a one-point game. What a read. Wanted the foul call, but finds an open player. Brittany, the Gators have to foul here. There's only a one-second yeah, differential. That's what they're they're calling for it. And, 
and the bench is saying it right now, and no one, and the birdie's coming over to try to foul. And they give it, laps it at the rack. And that's the person, they were going to keep the ball in her hands because she's such a good free throw shooter that has it missed. Latson matching her performance against the Gators last year with 32. And Florida can call a timeout to dance the ball up the floor on the make. Gators have two timeouts remaining. They'll take one here. Or you're down three, you want the ball in your hands. Florida has to get a good look though. Rimmed all to inbound here. The screens is important as a shot right now. Rimmed all. Underneath Kyle. Can't get the quick two. And should have gone baseline. I couldn't feel the defense because there's no defense there. Thought the defense would be on the baseline side. Two big free throws here for Shea Kyle. Uh, nervous Nerves, on the bench. Yeah. It's all kicking in. Rims out. You got a foul right away. Amaya Bonner, the one who's fouled. 6 of 12 from the line in her career. Didn't play a whole lot at Cal. Has taken a big jump in her production playing time here at Florida State. Gators have one timeout remaining and can advance in front court with a timeout. Three-point game. Timeout Florida. They'll advance in front court. That's their final timeout. Three-point shooters, Rimdahl, Correa, and Mathur. Florida looks a little confused about where they're standing, kind of figuring it out right now. Turnage. Maybe that's part of it. Guarding the ball right now. Trying to free Mitharu. Enter it in towards Kyle, and they'll get a foul here. This is on Florida State. But really, it, I don't think that's a terrible... Oh, oh no, they, they called, called that on Florida. Florida. So the Gators presumably have to foul right away. Get it in towards Latson. Reynolds gives it. Latson, very good free throw shooter. 86% of her career has hit all 10 of her attempts tonight. The tie a career high. Oh. The score 34 now three times in her career and a new career high for Tania Latson. 35 points. Somebody's got to get it out for Florida. And that should just about do it. Matharu. Correa will call a foul in home games in the non-conference. Tapped around, that will do it. Seminoles fight back in the second half. Career performance from Tanaya Latson, one of the great guards in the country. And they snapped that 25-game home. Non